So I recently told my parents that I may be a little bit romantically interested in women. And that was a big shock for them considering the past 10 years of coming out as gay, then queer, then non-binary, then trans. And I think it was just a bit of a shock. So I tell my dad and he goes, well, I would love to see you get a woman pregnant. And I said, oh, no, 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 she would be getting me pregnant. And then he said, what do you have a vagina now? And I said, never say never. And then I tell my mom and she goes, I would just love to see you own property one day. And in California, that's sort of, you know, a, a parent's dream. It's not having kids or getting married. It's, it's, are you able to own a house? Um, wouldn't that be nice? Um, leftist gender ideology says that you have an inborn genetic identity that is immutable. It's your gender, but it changes every 30 seconds from gay to trans to non-binary to agender to pansexual to bisexual to likes to shut up trees to here's a chicken to maybe I'll have a vagina one. By, by the way, your dad happens to be correct, dude. This aggression will not stand, man. Like when your dad says you can't get pregnant, there are a few operative things you're missing. A vagina is only one of them. I love how this guy comes back around to the fact that he's just a straight dude and he can't handle it. So he has to find some other way of saying, I'm just a straight dude. No, don't worry. I'm pansexual. Maybe I'll get pre Oh, the desire for attention. I have a question. Whose aspirations for a healthy life sound more fulfilling? Mom and dad's aspirations? Get married, have kids, buy a house? Or this guy, change my self-identification every 37 seconds and then stare sweatily into a TikTok camera for the applause of a bunch of trained SEAL idiots.